Hey you guys, uh, welcome to my car. I'm doing coffee with Shanda in my car right now. Um, I'm actually about to go to F45. Has anybody else done the F45 workout? Um, it's kind of functional training. I'm so excited. So um, I'm getting my little tushy out. I'm wearing my hardcore business shirt and I'm or sweater and I'm, I'm gonna roll into F45 this morning, which I'm so excited about. So, um, so by the way, there's a story to that. I have been looking at F45 for like a month and I'm finally getting my tushy to this workout. Oh my God, everybody walking by is so fit. Hi, fit woman. Hi, fit people. Everybody's fit. Ah! Anyway, it's going to be so good. I'm going to, I'm going to tackle my fears of not being as fit as these people and go rock it out anyway um it's a great example of some really good friends of mine who were actually at the zone event this year christy and logan invested in a bunch of uh, f45 centers and they were just saying they work out all the time and they were just saying that um that Christy said, you know, oh my gosh, she, she said, Shanna, I was sore for like a week. She goes, I'm addicted. She's like, it is such a good workout. It's never the same workout. There's no mirrors, she said, um, which I kind of like the mirrors to watch myself work out. But um, is that weird? Am I weird? Does anybody else like to watch, watch themselves work out? I kind of like psych myself out by, by watching myself work out. Anyway, um, uh, she was just telling me how great it was. And so that's why I'm here doing it. And so it's a great example of when you have something great and you treat people with a great community because the number one thing that builds referrals and builds um, builds just a, a movement is really the community. And when you spend the time to build a great community, what happens is it makes it so much easier to keep uh, you know, forging a great movement because the product that you're working with is such a good product with a great community. It's kind of like if you were to sell a business, if you were to sell a business, um, they actually look at the leadership inside your company. So if you think about it, if, if to sell a business, they look at the leadership inside the company to actually buy it. If you think about expanding a business, that means that the community has got to be rock solid. So spend your time looking at community, spend your time at like figuring out how to really Really create the best community possible. Like one of the things that we just did with our last marketing mastery mastermind is people, we surveyed them and we're actually surveying them again today with content that we're creating. But, um, but we surveyed them because we wanted to know what they loved and what they didn't love and just some details. And, and then they loved everything. They wanted more hot seating. They, they thought the content was off the charts and then they wanted more networking time. And so now I'm like, okay, how do I build that in? How do I build like a sequence, almost like speed dating for entrepreneurs inside of our masterminds, little things like that. So focus on spending the time to rock out your community so that people get a huge value in the community because content is so easy to create great content. I mean, they're really, it really is. If you're willing to pay really good trainers, or you're willing to, you know, think through what your clients really want. You can really create amazing content for your clients, but community is a little bit harder because you've got to, um, really be a great leader, which means that spend, spend some good time focusing on being on a great, being a great leader and being able to lead a, a large group of people. And then listen to them. Put your ear to the to the ground and listen to them so that you can give them what it is that they want. And here's what I've noticed. I can't give everybody everything that they want. And so it requires building a team. So you're never going get, to get away from building a leadership team inside your company at some point and to be able to build a great community to be able to serve them. So... Um, I am going to go into F45 because I don't, it's my first workout with them and they want me there 10 minutes early, which is basically now. Um, so forgive me that we're going to have a, a short Friday coffee with Shanda and just give you that nugget so that you're looking at what you're focusing on right now. Are you focusing on first community and then second, a really strong leadership team inside your company? I'll leave you with this. Um, we just dropped a video uh, yesterday. Uh, about me sharing some things about when I was doing drugs in my life. And, and I created this video so that uh, people like you can share it with uh, teenagers and um, college girls and guys and, you know, even women that are maybe struggling with the fact that, you know, you shouldn't be having wine every single night, even if you're not addicted to a substance. Um, just a variation of uh, thoughts around uh, really just having us be more conscious and living a better life. I remember Wayne Dyer when he was alive saying, you know, he made his entire family leave a restaurant because he couldn't get a beer. 
And that's when he realized that, okay, maybe common and normal is not having a beer every night, or maybe common and normal is not having a glass of wine every night. And by the way, this is from a girl. I have a whole wine fridge. I love wine, right? But it's like, what are the substances that are maybe casually like ruining our health um, or casually numbing us out or bringing us up instead of dealing with some things that we want to things that really need our attention in our life. Like I was just reading in my uh, marriage devotional this morning, if there's an area in your marriage that is not that great, ignoring it doesn't heal the wound. Right. And I was like, ah, oh, good point. Really good point. You know, like it, it doesn't. So like sometimes like the consistent consumption of, of alcohol or cigarettes or drugs, things like that, like painkillers, these things, you know, can really, they massively numb us out, even if it's on just a, a basic level. And then there's obviously the opposite where, um, where there's a level where it's a, a massive problem. I mean, what's worse, right? Killing your self over a long period of time and making your body super acidic or is it like the fact that when it's really known that everybody can see somebody like blacking out with alcohol my point is is blacking out with alcohol and things like that seem to be a norm that people are think that they're normal like oh I don't remember what I did last night anyway long story short I dropped a video on this yesterday and I want to just share something with you keep going out there and speak about the real things because your your audience your community they want to build around real conversations they don't want to build around surface conversations yes you can get some followers some education or some engagement on doing some content rich stuff like steps like step one two three four five you can definitely people love that but they're not going to keep tuning in for more steps because honestly we're kind of over over inundated by education these days um, a new study has showed that people would rather go to workshops than they would a four-year college. And so, you know, the mindset's changing. People are wanting bite-sized pieces of things so that they can learn a specific skill, master it, and go deep on it. They don't necessarily want more information. And, um, but saying that, I just want to encourage you to really talk about the things that maybe you're ashamed to talk about in, in public because it's got your power. Like you don't want people to know that you're struggling in your marriage. You don't want people to know that um, you're not perfect in um, your focus and maybe you're a business coach or whatever, right? Whatever people are just, they're craving the real conversation. So I'm just going to encourage you to really go out there and put the real conversations out there. And I will share with you, I did delete the comment, but you know, there was people, there was a woman like messaging saying, oh, stick to pictures, like on video, you look old and wrinkly and all this stuff. And I was like, ouch, because in that video, I actually thought that I did kind of look old and, and I, I'm just being really straightforward, right? Like I was like, you know, but I chose to not edit all that out and to like, not have the, like everybody has a bad angle. Everybody has like, you know, I have a little wrinkle here that I hate, but it's just, it, whether you could comment and say that I shouldn't hate it. I do, but I don't, I just, I just don't want to put Botox in my skin and I have no issue if you do right at all. I just, I'm just nervous about the long-term health effects of that. So, so when you, when, when you're like putting this stuff out there, know that you're going to have people like this mean girl who, you know, when I go to her page, it was like, her page looked like she was, she was like, um, Mr. Rogers for kids. Right. But yet she felt compelled to tell me to stick to pictures versus video because I looked old and wrinkly. And so, um, my point in sharing that with you is that, you know, people are going to judge you. They are going to hack you. They are going to do all these things, but you know, if you just put out real content and you just get vulnerable and you just, you know, have the courage to do that. You're going to have more people that rally around you and appreciate the real talk, the real talk, than you will the people who decide that they're going to make it your mission, their mission to be mean and nasty um, to you. And that just means that you're starting to hit a nerve. So reach more people, uh, get out there. And I'm going to go to F45 because I think it's starting in six minutes. And I was supposed to be there 10 minutes early. All right, you guys, I'll talk to you soon. Have a great weekend. Sending you lots of love. Bye.